What's up everybody? This is From The Depths Collectibles and today we're gonna get into a custom corner video. Now today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, you know, I usually do the you know DC Multiverse McFarlane toy figures, but this time I'm thinking about doing something a little bit more creative, something a little bit more different, and that is this Godzilla piggy bank. Now, this thing I picked up at Hobby Lobby, it is a very cool, you know, piggy bank. Uh, it is a chippy version of Godzilla. And, you know, the idea for this one, guys, is to just paint them up like Burning Godzilla. You know, I saw this thing in the stores. I bought myself two of them because I had, like, you know, the instant inspiration to paint them up like, you know, Burning Godzilla. I thought it would be a nice, easy, you know, custom corner video to, you know, put together. What I'm gonna do, guys, is, you know, just take a pencil, uh, draw up where I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, burning marks uh, across his, you know, chest, up, you know, on his uh, abdomen, his thighs, his shoulders, and, you know, go about uh, marking out where I'm going to uh, do the lines for his eyes because I'm gonna change the eye color to a dark orange and you know put that iris that's around his eye that makes him look extra angry and i'm gonna go ahead and darken up his skin and everything because his skin looks a lot darker when he's melting down so you know that's the whole idea to you know touch up this guy it shouldn't take too long guys because this is a you know pretty big figure a lot of you know big details on there not too many uh you know details that we have to get into so it would be a nice fun easy project to get into so let's get into it guys. So before we start, let's get into the paints that we're gonna use for this project. Now I'm not gonna use any fancy paints here. All I'm using is some acrylic paints that I have, that I've been having for like, you know, forever. You know, I'm using a bright neon orange for, you know, his burning effects, you know, a bright yellow and some bright red to get, you know, that color to pop. And I also got some black to do a dark wash over the entire figure uh, to get him a nice dark color for you know his meltdown form. And also I have some acrylic airbrush colors that I just got from Hobby Lobby also while I was there. And you know I got these for you know to not only test them out but to test out my uh, portable air gun that I got from my brother. You know I did do a couple of tests with this thing beforehand. And you know, it does work pretty good for, you know, obviously being a portable, uh, you know, airbrush and everything. So I feel like this project is perfect for this kind of an airbrush because it's nice and easy. I'm not gonna do anything, you know, too precise with it or anything like that. All I'm gonna do is probably mix up some uh, red and some yellow to make an orange color and put that across his eyes to make him look like, you know, he has that reddish, you know, eyes that he has when he's melting down and everything. And I'm also gonna do the iris that are, that is around his uh, pupils and everything to make it look, you know, extra angry and everything. So that's gonna be a, you know, kind of an experiment that I'm gonna do. I am gonna tape it all off and everything so I don't, you know, mess up anything. So that's gonna be a cool thing to do. So let's get into this, guys. No more talking, no more, you know, dilly-dallying. Let's get into this painting. All right, so there is the first part of the paint job and that is the base color yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer up the yellow, put some orange over that yellow once it dries up a bit, and then put some red around that uh, orange and stuff to make it look like a nice burning effect to it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the spikes here. I'm gonna do a couple of the spikes. These ones do not have the color on them. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these ones, the big ones, and then maybe touch up a couple of the small ones at the bottom. Maybe look like, you know, a little, you know, darker red, you know, 
because in the you know on the film and on the toys and stuff like that the tail doesn't light up so you know i'm just gonna take my you know artistic liberty on that one then we're gonna go ahead and do the eyes and you know then it's gonna look real good so far it's looking pretty awesome guys let's keep going Alrighty guys, there is the second layer of paint and that is the orange for the burning layers. And next up is the third coat and that is a red. That's gonna finish off the burning look and so far guys, it's coming together pretty nicely. Uh, next up is the scales and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes. So that's gonna be kind of an experiment for me because I am using something that I haven't used before and hopefully they'll come out pretty cool.
all right there is the finished product this thing looks amazing guys i love this little uh handheld airbrush machine that i have this thing literally came in clutch guys because this thing turned out amazing with the airbrush like i said guys the eyes is what makes it like putting that orange on the the eyes and especially with the airbrush getting a nice even paint to it looked great and as an added bonus and detail i was able to use some of the spray and do a light spraying on the nails and on the teeth to give it a uh you know a more defined look to it i also went ahead and painted the uh, details for his burning uh, skin on him and I also did a little bit of shading with uh, his forehead and everything with a little bit of orange that I mi uh, mixed up in the airbrush and I also did his scales his back scales so this thing guys came out amazing I have to say I'm patting myself on the back for this one guys because I am impressed so if you like these kinds of videos, guys, check out the other videos that we have in the Custom Corner uh, catalog. I have a bunch of other videos that I have done before. Now, this one is a unique one. The other ones I've done are McFarlane toy figures. So honestly, guys, for a real experiment, for a real test of both the airbrush and what I could do with this little piggy bank, I have to admit, guys, this thing is awesome. So if you're interested in any kind of custom deal, check out those custom corner videos. And remember, I'm from the Depths Collectibles. We do toy hunts, we do toy hauls, and we do toy reviews sometimes. So if you like that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe because we're almost at our 300 subscriber mark. And at our 300 subscriber mark, we're going to do a giveaway. So if you wanna be entered into that giveaway, guys, be sure to subscribe and like this video here share it around maybe your friends will subscribe also and get us a little bit closer to that 300 subscriber mark and with that being said i'll see you guys next time